Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We're Monday, September 5th, 2022. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great, gonna have a great day today. Um, yeah, it's a quiet day. It's a long weekend. So, it's the last official long weekend of the summer. Kind of a bummer, right? I hate this time of year. It's never fun, is it? Always going to, I mean, when you're young, you have to go back to school. The weather starts to, to change. I mean, where I am at uh, anyways, right? I mean, Canada is like, it's cold. Um, quite quite quick over here. So let's start the read. Uh, it's a timeless read. I don't use the signs. I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyways, dependent on the situation. If this is your read, you're going to know based on this, uh, the characters and the storyline. Um, so take what applies. Toss the rest. Don't try to make it fit, okay? Uh, it's, all, it's a general read, so not every read is going to be for you. I will be using the he and she pro pronoun those to keep it straight in my head, okay? I'll, I'll bring out the tarot cards, give you the interpretations of the cards, as well as what I'm picking up intuitively because I work with energy. Uh, you know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one, and then we bring it together at the end. And again, if there's a part of it that doesn't make sense, it means it's somebody else's story. Just chuck it, right? If none of it resonates, please help yourself. Go back and look at other readings I've posted. If the title jumps out at you, that, that means there's something in it for you. Okay? And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being here. I'm truly grateful to each and every one of you. Okay? Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. So let's begin. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. What is the message today? How are we beginning? How would you like to start the message? Almost. Okay. Nope. Two came out. That's not going to work. Sorry. Oh, I'm holding this deck upside down. Sorry, gang. Okay, we have the Dream Walker. Dreams, the collective good and illusions, card number eight. That's strength and tarot. Somebody has integrity, loyalty, or honesty, strength and courage, uh, resilience, respect, pride, control uh, in a good way. It could also be on the bad way, too, because strength in reverse is somebody that's uh, domineering and forceful and has a huge ego, and lots of pride, right? Very controlling and possessive, uh, lustful, has no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They could be afraid right now or intimidated. Let's see. Let's get uh, a clarifier. Why is Dreamwalker here? Card, card number eight. Thank you. That was quick. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Yuck. What's at the bottom of the deck? Sword and Rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Let's see, let's get the tarot on this. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. What? Why is the dream walker here? Card, num card number eight and the chaser here. For the collective, what is this message, please? What's the message for the collective? Starting to get a picture just looking at the cards that are coming out <laughs> as I'm shuffling. I already know what this is about. Okay. That's are we ready, Spirit? No, not ready. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't cut cut the cards unless they tell me to. Okay, we're ready. First card up. Let's see. Come on. Queen of Cups in the upright. Okay, so this is somebody, an, an energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Remember, it could be all these descriptions, some are one. Uh, male or female that's emotionally well balanced. Um, could be a mother figure, doesn't have to be. It could be a male, like I said. But somebody that's um, very empathetic, very compassionate, get, caring, giving. Um, this is unconditional love, um, psychic and intuitive. They love very deeply. It's a big cup of love. Out of the whole deck, typically the Queen of Cups does have the biggest cup, right? She has a lot of love to give. Bottom of the deck. But they're, they're, in this rider weight, there's a cap on it, right? So that's there's limits to this unconditional love, basically. You have to lear, learn to love yourself first. 
in order to be able to love unconditionally, right? That means putting yourself first, right? So if somebody's oppressing you, lying to you, cheating on you, um, stealing from you, abusing you in any way, there's a cap on that, right? I love you from a distance. That's what it is, right? You got to move on because somebody, somebody might have some options here or they could be making a decision here. I don't know. Or she could, she or he could be making a decision based on love. Could be a mother making a decision about a child. Could be a lover making a decision. Somebody could have had lots of options. So, Queen of Cups in the upright. Why is the Queen of Cups here, please? Oh, that's too. Queen of Cups in the upright. Why is the Queen of Cups in the upright for the collective, please? Yeah, there's competition here. So somebody who's farting around here, five of wands in the upright. Um, Queen of Cups, uh, they, this person could be conflicted themselves, mentally conflicted and or there is competition or they're competing with somebody, but there's fighting and drama here, okay? A lot of conflict. I don't know if this person started the conflict or these people are fighting over the Queen of uh, Cups. Yeah, it's the end of the road, bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles, you get what you give, right? Could be out of money here. They didn't invest. They didn't invest at all where they should have, okay? It's time to move on. They might have to relocate. Five of Wands in the upright. Could have something to do with an uh, investment. Doesn't have to be sex, right? Let's see. Or a relationship. Yeah, they're fighting with a King of Pentacles here. Or there's com somebody's trying to... Um, compete with a king of pentacles energy this energy male or female is is a boss it could be a boss right uh fighting with the boss this, this energy is uh successful stable and, and and secure um they know they know the value of a dollar they're very good with money hard working very responsible very well grounded okay um, successful. They like to find other things in life because they can afford them. They work hard. They work hard in order to be able to afford them. So this king is very verdant. See the, the grapes on his on his robe, right? And the castle right there at his arm that indicates you know abundance is right there, right? So somebody's trying to compete with this king. Yeah, this king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh, maybe learning something. The page of pentacles in the upright. Studying something, or he's going to make an offer. I say he, it could be a she in, in, in uh, King of Pentacles mode. This is somebody that's very wealthy, maybe successful. It could be making an offer or um, wanting a new beginning. Um, let's see where this goes. King of Pentacles in the upright. Why is this here? King of Pentacles in the upright. Thank you. Could also be a husband card. I almost forgot to mention that could be fighting with a husband. There's awareness. There's radical acceptance. Somebody's moving on and leaving the baggage behind, taking control of a situation. See, this person is in the driver's seat, but there's no reins. So this is universally driven, okay? So somebody has this, uh, the structure, the, the discipline, and the direction. And they're taking control. and They're leaving something behind. They're moving on. This could be travel. This could be moving, right? Bottom of the deck. There's awareness here. There's awareness that there were illusions, uh, deception, magician in reverse. Could be some magic here. Uh, somebody was very manipulative. Uh, Two-faced, right? Uh, scattered, not very focused. They don't have everything they need to succeed or to, to successfully accomplish what they were trying to do here. There were a lot of uh, tricks and illusions they could be feeling powerless here. Um, it could be with a family or a group. Somebody got scapegoated. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness, right? So somebody tried to fool a family or a group or it could be a home wrecker. I'm not sure. Where are we going with this? Yeah, poor judgment. Somebody displayed some poor judgment. There's awareness. Somebody's moving forward here. Um, they judge somebody, somebody harshly or they're being judged harshly. Take it as it applies, okay? This is a card of really bad karma. Somebody did, lacked awareness, uh, acceptance, and accountability. They don't want to be held responsible for something, but they're going to have to be, right? This is karma. Yeah, there's an assessment going on here, page of wands. Uh, there, somebody's trying to get a hold of you. Maybe they're going to reach out and contact you. They're seeing someone or something differently. If you can see how that page is looking at that wand, 
this page has been looking at this wand like forever, right? They've had this wand in their hand since the beginning. And now they're looking at the wand going, wait a minute, I never noticed this about you before. You know, <laughs> so this could be good news coming in. They're trying to block it somehow. This, this is the end of the road. You can't go back, right? So somebody's assessing a situation. Could be good news coming towards you and or somebody wants to reach out to. Oh, yeah, it could be it. Could be an authority figure of some kind, king, king of swords. This could be a police officer, an investigator, uh, a lawyer or judge. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody that 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 knows the truth. Um, they're very smart and um, intelligent, very wise, and they're very str strategic. Okay, they don't say much, but until when they do say something, it's very poignant. It's very true. It's very factual. They have the sort of truth here in their hand. Okay, they could be strategizing. They want to reach out, tell you some truths about something or someone's about somebody's lies. Queen of Swords and uh, beneath that, Queen of Swords in reverse, male or female. This could be somebody that's very chaotic, okay? This is uh, not a good energy to deal with. Uh, they lie, okay? They're angry all the time. They're combative. Um, they're jealous, vindictive, and spiteful. Yeah, they're jealous of somebody's stability or relationship or business. They're jealous that somebody's, um, I don't know, at a wedding? They lied about a wedding? They lied about a marriage? Yeah, there was a miscarriage of justice here. There was an injustice committed by this Queen of Swords. Now, this doesn't have to be a professional. It could be anybody you know, um, you know, coming in, telling you some truths here. And it's going to be factual, okay? It could be, this person could be saying it in a very um, blunt way, as if they're cold. But I, I assure you, this person's not cold. They're just careful. Um, they want to get it off their chest, right? Yeah. Somebody kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior and it's coming back to bite them in the ass. Okay. So this was not a victory or they don't want something to end. This marriage, um, this commitment, a contract, it's coming back to bite them and they could be going to court here. They want to, that's why they want to, they want to make peace with you. Right? Because they want their their freedom. I don't know. Let's see where this goes. You could be an earth angel, an entrepreneur, right? Why is the world in reverse here? This is not a victory. Okay. Six of Wands. Maybe you're in the public eye. This is victory, rewards, recognition, and... Um... What's the other one? <laughs> I can't remember. But somebody is coming back to bite somebody in the ass. Because something could be going public here. Um, hmm, they don't want something to end. Hmm. They don't want something to go public. Because that's the globe, the world, right? It could be online. They don't want to be outed online. That they were giving a cup of love away to somebody. Ooh, they had a choice. Yeah, a choice of two maybe. Oh, let's see. Let's see where this goes. It's coming back on them now. Somebody did something publicly, I think. Okay, this is... Again, this is success, victory, reward, recognition, right? Um, this is stability, security. This could be... Mm, getting attention. Somebody loves to get attention. This could be a, somebody famous in the public eye. Very stable. It could be at a party, a get-together. It's a home. What the heck? What's going on here? I'm, I'm trying to see where this is going. I'm kind of stuck at that one. This is a relationship. Oh, <laughs> really? There were illusions here. Seven of Cups in reverse. Some, there were definite illusions. All that glitters isn't gold. Okay? Something went to their head. Okay? Uh, the attention went to their head that um, about a relationship. Like, they were clout chasing, I guess. And... It, it's coming out. The, tr the truth is coming out, right? They're running out of options here. Somebody could be a big drinker, very smug, self-satisfied, right? They want the attention all of themselves. So when they drink, they talk shit about people. Wow. And this could very well get them in trouble here. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Depending on the crowd you hang with, that could mean a near uh, death experience. Somebody's heartbroken. Wow. Damn. Seven cups in reverse. 
So you're talking shit about people. Depending on who these people are. I mean, if this person's in the shady crowd, watch out. Yeah, giving a couple love out. So somebody sees that it could be romance scams. Yeah. Drinking, smug, full of themselves, selfish, glutton. There's addictions here. A fall from grace. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. No satisfaction, no achievement. Very smug and, and, and self-centered. Now they're stuck, right? They're stuck for some reason. Two of Wands in reverse. They're blocked from coming to you and healing, uh, healing, healing a, a rift or something. <clears throat> what the hell? Somebody wants to come towards you with a cup of love, some sort of support high you know high esteem but they're blocked there's a maybe a um, a sudden departure sudden arrival hmm this is a wish fulfillment for somebody that's come to an end here there's bad news they wish bad news on you bad luck okay i get it Are you kidding me they want to stop your healing they want to stop your star from rising you could be out in the public eye like i said it's right on top of the six of wands right going places with the that's victory, right? The chariot moving, uh, traveling, you know, <sighs> they wish harm on you. Wow. Nice person. You could be a healer of some sort, right? What you take out of the world, uh, you, you pour back in with in spades, right? You give back. Yeah. You're divinely protected, divinely guided here. This was a, a partnership, maybe a spiritual partnership, or you, they want to stop you from get, uh, finding your, your wish fulfillment and being with somebody that you love, a special someone. They feel betrayed somehow, or they want to betray you. What the hell? This is kind of scattered today. Star in the upright, two cups in the upright. Why is this here? Yeah, this is not love. But they want to be the one that you love. Why? Because you're a, uh, maybe you're in the public eye. There's a lot of tears here. Maybe Ace of Cups reverse. There's, there's no growth. There's no love. That cup is empty. There's no peace. You know, it's not natural. It's not, yeah. It's a breakup of a third party situation, a collaboration. It's a false contract. It could be a false spiritual c contract. I don't know. Or, or they just want, I don't know. Somebody wants to partner up with you, right? And that ending a third party situation, any a collaboration or a false contract. I don't know. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this is a gold digger you're dealing with, maybe. Uh, there's a change here, Wheel of Fortune. The, the universe has got your back, okay? This is all divine timing here. This is your destiny. Now they want to come back and they're going to say, oh, we're destined to be together. I get it. They want to come back in from out of the cold. They love you, King of Cups. Yes, look at, there's a special uh, bond between us, right? It could be twins. Yeah, no. <laughs> here, fit reverse. No. This person has no faith. He did, this person, he or she, does not trust in the twin flame thing. They don't even. They probably don't even think it. It exists. They just use it to get their way, right? To get money, right? They're nervous. There's scandal here. Four swords in reverse. They, they could be sick, mentally ill. I don't know. Yeah, they, they could be. They wanted to harm you, make you sick, do that to you for money. Okay, this was corruption. King, of, the emperor in reverse. Corruption. Okay. Infidelity. Yeah, they wanted to steal your money here. But they've lost everything by doing this. They didn't put any work in. They're not working. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Right? They're not even trying. They didn't even put any effort in. They're heartbroken. Right? No. Yeah. They're they're abusive. Okay? They're a criminal. They're reckless. They're aggressive. They got anger issues. And here you are standing in your in your power. You're not even a phased by this person, right? You're highly intuitive. They, they, there was a lot of lies and secrets with this person. They secretly wanted to take your money. They targeted you for your money, okay? This group of people. Um, they lied. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander here. Okay? This is sabotage. Yeah, again, this is very, very uh, selfish energy. They're codependent and clingy, unstable, and insecure. And this is, again, crime. So this is Tower Moment, right? Everybody's finding out. Sorry, it took a little bit to get there. The energy's a little... Not 100% yet. <laughs> Knight of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, they're in a, going through the dark night of the soul. Five of Cups in reverse. They're in a dark place here. 
Yep, there's no reconciling this. Uh, there could have been some trauma in the past. Okay, uh, there's unrequited love. Trauma in the past. There's no reconciling with the Empress here. You are the Empress, right? They, they've done too much, this person. An Empress is not going to no, put up with that. Yeah, they're, they're a big drinker, possibly. They're uh, emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative. They're self-serving, uh, self-absorbed. If they do anything nice for you, it's because there's something in it for you, or for them, I should say. They could be potentially dangerous, okay? Right now, they're losing control of their, their emotions because the truth is out. They're a gold digger, an opportunist. You have great opportunity coming to you. You're a blessing, by the way. And all they can do is watch you, okay? <laughs> watch you because you've healed. Ten of swords in reverse. You've recovered from all of that. You, maybe they threw magic your way. Wow. Could be an investigation, right? Could have been some force. It could have been violent with you. You've recovered from this, though. Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah. You've recovered. You're going towards your, You're celebrating here, okay? You're happy. You let go of them, okay? You're, all obstacles are removed. You're no longer bound to this person. Justice is here. Yep. Justice is here. That's a card of karma, right? This is a higher power involved, okay? It could be a, a relationship, a, a higher level commitment that you had, a marriage, but they were a player in player energy, really reckless. They didn't want to let go of that lifestyle. They were non-committal, no forethought. They can't move forward, okay? I'm going to leave it there. It's obviously a runner chaser dynamic here, dreams, the collective good. It's, if it's for the good that you guys aren't together, even if you are, I think it's a false twin, okay? Or it's a distor distorted uh, masculine, feminine, whatever, but they're, this person's got a lot of delusions here in their head. They're delusional, okay? A big dreamer, but they never follow through, okay? They're all talk, no action. It's for the collective good, right? The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So they leave you before you can leave them, and then they, they chase you afterwards. They're back and forth, back and forth, a yo-yo, right? Because they're immature, and they don't want to heal. Well, maybe this is going to propel them to heal. Let's hope. Okay, because you can't live your life like that. I mean, in, in my situation, it's pretty sad. You got 50-something-year-olds doing this. You know, it's, it's pretty disgusting. It's time to, you know, wisen up, right? How are we ending the read, please? Ooh. Observer in reverse, 49. Oh, boy. So that's the 13. That's death in reverse. Okay, that's a permanent ending. There were lies here, illusions. The moon's in the corner here. Right? Somebody wanted to be a star. Um, they're watching you. All they can do now is watch you. Okay? This this fox thought they were so sly. They're not so sly. 49 in reverse. Why is this here? Just bear with me. I just got to look for it. While you're waiting, why don't you hit that uh, the like button for me? That would make me happy. Thank you. 49. 49. Come on. Where are you? I got a plumber coming in today of all days. So I want to get these reads out. So the protection message. Ever think sometimes your life options are suction cup to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward. Take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. So that can go for the person that was doing this to you or you, right? If you need to take, uh, if you're uncertain, um, you don't have to listen to other people's advice. I mean, you you solicit advice. Go to somebody you you, you trust, maybe professionally and or in your circle. <clears throat> See, see what these people say. Um, of, of course, you don't have to take anybody's advice. It's, it's just nice to hear other people's perspectives, right? Maybe you'll you'll come to your own conclusions that way, right? But again, it's your life. So, you, you know, like if somebody's forcefully telling you to do this, do that, um, thank them for their advice. But, you know, tell them you'll think about it and you know, you'll mull it over. But you have to follow your own heart, okay? Because this is your life. Nobody can live it for you. But if this person's a player energy and they're just going to do it without the healing, they've not gone for healing. It doesn't look like it, okay? They're just playing games. So, like, again, I'm just giving you advice. I'm not telling you what to do. You have to follow your heart. But um, 
what's going to make you happy, okay, in the end. Do you want to go through all of this again and get your heart ripped out? You've already m moved on here. You're you're almost free of it. And if it's a narcissist you're dealing with, yeah, they wait till you're almost 100% over them. And then they come back around just to suck you back into that void, right? So just bear that in mind. Do you want to go through this again? I hope not. Anyways, I'm sending you a great deal of healing. Both of you, okay? You, you both deserve some healing here. Um, and uh, until next time, take care.